Hi there, Nick here from Lamod. Welcome to April's product updates. This month, we've made a couple of updates and changes to the app. First, we added a block called starting point at the beginning of all bots. More on the reason in just a second. We also changed the design of the navigation bar and icons in the builder. And for WhatsApp chatbots, we have a couple of updates to share like the new testing flow and changes to the way you request WhatsApp message templates. So let's get into it. Let's start with the new starting point block. We've released this block for all channels. Before, it was only available for web chatbots. Now it's also available for WhatsApp chatbots, Messenger chatbots, and API chatbots. This block basically marks the starting point of your chatbots. Keep in mind that for WhatsApp chatbots, there won't be a collect input block at the start anymore. For that, a good practice is adding the collect input block right after the starting point block. This way, you capture the user's first input and start right away, depending on what the user is texting. You can check out more about how the starting point block works and some examples down in the video description. Secondly, we've redesigned the navigation bar that you can find in the left side of the app with changes in the icons and labels, plus a reorganization of the popover. Also, we changed the look and naming of some blocks inside the builder. For example, what previously was the multi-question block is now called forms. Great, now moving into WhatsApp, we've got four updates. First, we made more intuitive the way you test WhatsApp business in Lambda. Basically, if you head into the WhatsApp icon in the left sidebar, this section is now called WhatsApp campaigns. Here, you can test WhatsApp campaigns with up to 10 testing numbers. If you already have an official WhatsApp business number, it will also show in this section. Now, if you want to simply test a WhatsApp chatbot that you've built in the builder, up in the right corner, click on test and select or add the testing number you want to use. Keep in mind that you need to have WhatsApp installed on your phone or use WhatsApp web to test it. Okay, so that's the new WhatsApp testing flow. For those of you that have an official WhatsApp business number, the share number section in the WhatsApp channel is now called growth tools. In there, you'll find link to chat to create a link with a pre-filled message you set for the user. So when they click on the generated link, your users will start a chat to your number or WhatsApp right away with the pre-filled message you sent. Then QR code to chat to generate a QR code with also that pre-filled message you sent to share on social media, packaging, billboards, or your website, for example. And lastly, widget to chat, to generate a widget that you can later paste on your website. Here, you can see the preview and the code to copy. You can edit the widget here. Moving on, now inside the contacts tab, you will find displayed the total number of contacts and valid subscribers to your WhatsApp business channel. You might have contacts whose number is not valid or that don't have WhatsApp anymore. Those are not counted as valid subscribers. And the last WhatsApp update, for now, when requesting WhatsApp message templates, if you intend to add variables in the message, you'll need to add test values so Meta has a bit more clarity on your intentions with the message template you're requesting to better check if it complies with the WhatsApp business and commerce policy. Lastly, if I may sneak in a little update there, give the new Lambert Academy a visit. We redesigned the whole page for easier search and added new courses and tutorials. Some personal recommendations would be the new WhatsApp Business 101 course. So that's it. Stay tuned for next month. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to leave a like. And while you're at it, subscribe. While I enjoy this slice of pizza I just ordered in order to celebrate the fact. Oh no.